Yo, what is up YouTube? How's it going all you cats and dogs out there? I'm back to do a quick video for a figure. Even though Halloween is over though. I am 48 minutes late though. But with that, I'm gonna do a quick video and show you what I got here. This is the NECA Toys, Real Toys, Retro Cloth, eighth inch figure of the Michael Myers Halloween 2 figure. So what, what you're looking at here, I'm gonna show you a little bit on the artwork on my laptop full in depth, which I saw in early January of this year, especially the details, how you compose it. I mean, just take a look at this, folks. The design, the sculpt, it's it's very, very clear in detail. Look at it. Even the Blood Tears version, but you can switch the heads, of course. But the, the, the designs, look at that. Even the boots, they can match details and you have the weapons the hammer the sandwich knife known as the Elrod knife the syringe and you have the scalp but maybe you could pause that carefully you can see it uh-huh yep there it is the scalp and you have an extra hand for other weapons that Michael has access to and um, I'll show you a full-size laptop on this artwork okay top to bottom slow and steady uh-huh oh yeah that's good that's a good detail Let's see the side. Mm -hmm. Definitely like we saw in the film. Definitely like what we saw in the film. And anybody knows about Halloween 2, it came out in 1981. It was during the slasher horror genre. But also, let's be clear, it was cleared. I mean, it's clear that it's continuing the 1978 film Halloween 1. It picks up right where the first film left off. But... Let's be clear, I have my movie, I'm gonna, in a future video, of course, I'll show you how I organize my movies in, in the years that they've been released. But if I have multi-packs, I'm gonna have to start with the beginning of the franchise. But I always put my DVD, or some of my DVDs, of course, in the year the films have been released. Like, for instance, for Halloween, I put it in 78, Halloween 2, 1978 as well, because again, it continues 1978. I'm not going to put it in 1981, even though the film came out in 81, though. But with that, I mean, look how good the details are. Even in the back, well, I, okay, let's get to this. You have the same people who were involved in the sculpting designs of the previous NECA figures. But only Randy Flake, I can tell. These other people did great jobs, but they were not in the other ones, I believe, or they were. I might be right or wrong, but I know Randy Flake. Design and direction. Here it is, artwork, courtesy of Jason Edmonston. Shout out to you, Jason Edmonston. You the man. Okay. Um, hammer, syringe, knife, scalp, and alternate ha ha head and hand. Wow, Universal, let's be, clear, let's be clear on that. Universal owned the rights to Halloween 2. If anybody has the, um, the Blu-ray from Anchor Bay or the 25th anniversary DVD of Halloween 2, of Halloween 1, of course, um, in the making of the first movie and also goes on a little bit to the second film, um, talking about that um, Dino De Laurentiis of Universal Studios, who is the financier and producer, wanted to do a sequel to the original Halloween, and Mustafa Akar said a sequel. Well, well, it's not television, never heard of a sequel. But you got, if those who have it, ha check it out, or if not, go online and see it, because, dude, it is a great documentary. And, of course, John Carpenter... Um, uh, said what got him right into he was completely stuck as a screenwriter of course even uh, living in what is it it was 2 a.m. in the morning with a six pack of beer and the next to the typewriter what could he do and he'll make the shape the brother and then the next thing you know of course is that um, it became was a hit it, the film was a hit when it was released and of course you have a stunt, and of course it was portrayed by stuntman actor Dick Warlock, which also I'll leave you the link in the description box down below with the making. Well, I already left it in the description box. Oh, maybe I'll leave it again. But I'm also going to leave you the description box with the review details of the toys 
that were done by Pizzo and um, who else? Pizzo and the Review Spot. I'm not going to open this. No, 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 no. I'm going to leave it in the package the way it's supposed to be. And I'll probably have it hanging somewhere in the cave or on top of the shelf. But all in all, it is a great design, great look. And let's take a quick look at the bullet holes. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Here, 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 and let's see. Well, it was shot around here, and oh, oh what is it, somewhere around here? Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, definitely on the shoulder. Whoa, that's gotta hurt. But all in all, this was a great film, a great franchise, got some love over the years. And on, like I said on my Halloween 2 video, um, what is it? They tell us, I mean, what is it? In social media on Facebook, over a million people love Halloween 2. Seriously, I mean, it is a great follow-up. There's no lie, there's no kidding about that movie. There's no kidding or anything like that. I'm gonna show you the full artwork that I had to show you all. Okay, just a second. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Zoo, 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 zoo. <laughs> okay, this NECA artwork popped out on Instagram about 10, 11 months ago. Here's the artwork. Look at that. That's the artwork and it has the artist's signature. Jason Edmonston, like I said, shouts to you. There it is. And this is definitely what we see in the final act and the climax of Halloween 2. And that the shape got shown the ear by the final girl, ready for Michael to get burned in the process. And this is an insane detail. And of course you have variations how to pose the figure, even details of what you see throughout let's zoom I zoom out how you like to pose the figure how you wanted it and other things I mean seriously with that let's take a quick scroll of course that's the package how you just saw Oh yeah, that's good. Pretty cool. Close up. And that's it. So yeah, folks. The, of course. Just to the thing of ours. His out, the review spot, Christian Hannah Horror, all you physical media collectors out there and all you watch collectors out there and um, all you YouTubers out there for my subscribers, more all you subscribers of mine and people I'm subscribed to. Also, um, what else? Oh, what, uh, all, shouts to all of you and also for all you young bucks and generations out there. Also, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, leave comments in the sec in the comment section down below. Ask me questions or so, whichever, and wait for more videos to come up, of course. I better get some shot out of those. I'm going to get up a little early for the Kane Hodder sign that's going to be between 1 to 4 p.m. Hang out with friends there and uh, all day, every, all day, any day. And it's daylight savings, what do you know? So anyways, um, this is Sparky Marky Mark. Have you enjoyed a good Halloween? Hanging with the villain. <laughs> So anyways, I'm signing off y'all. Be safe, take care, God bless you, and enjoy November. <laughs> ah, Christmas is coming up. Be good.